<clears throat> broke up your whole, broke up your whole show, broke up your whole, broke up your whole show, broke up your whole, broke up your whole by Hashem, your whole by Hashem. God could dash double arms to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Salutation to the whole full elect out there. You are came to stock him that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I appreciate him on this one. This week's uh, topic is going to be entitled It All Feels Synthetic. Fake, man. What is this all? A lot of what's been happening, re uh, going on recently. Um, and being covered by the mainstream media. It's like, yeah. Most recently, uh, this situation in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, with George Floyd. And there's a lot surfacing, man. You know, that the, um, that these guys knew each other 17 years. That, you know, joined, um, George Floyd, you know, apart from doing pornography, he had Freemason tattoos. And just how quickly the riots escalated, you know what I mean? It wasn't like the Rodney, Kid Kidney, uh, Rodney King riots back in L.A., in terms of escalation, Apostle Elder Ryan Lobb opened up his uh one of his previous lessons with the fact that it's coincidence. It all seems coincidental, you know. The business are conveniently closed. People are conveniently wearing masks. Um, conveniently pissed off because they're not being able to uh, release their stress how they normally would, but only through alcohol. So suicide has gone up, and it's like you know, it's just a lot of it seems orchestrated. This is uh the definition of a psyop. Psychological operations are operations to uh, convey selected information and indicators to audiences to influence their emotions. And niggas has been getting killed by cops for years, and the cops have been oppressing everybody for years. But you know, this moment in time, you know, the the media is definitely trying to convey a message. It says motives and objectives, reasonings, and ultimately the behavior of governments and organization groups and individuals. And um, lately with this whole coronavirus lockdown and this situation now, you know, one thing comes to my mind, man, is something that the CIA often does with other countries, and it's called regime change. I'm going to read the definition of a, regi a regime change operation. It says regime change may replace all or part of the state's most critical leadership systems, administrative apparatus or bureaucracy. It can be the deliberate product of outside force as in warfare, rolled back in the military strategy to impose regime change by defeating an enemy by removing its regime or force. And, you know, I think of Venezuela, right? How they try to get Juan Guaido up in there and get rid of Nicolas Maduro. And one thing that the mainstream media was blasting was how fucked up Venezuela is and uh, people are eating each other. And, you know, but when you went to Venezuela... They were suffering hyperinflation due to the sanctions, but that was it, you know. But they were trying to pump something up on on a narrative to get rid of a political leader. Now it does look like, um, because they are going against each other, the, the Reds and the Blues, the Democrats, Republicans, that they could be stirring up, um, you know, the, the situation to get this guy out of there, um, Donald Trump, right? Because they had the impeachment, and you had they used the coronavirus to make this look this dude look bad. Now all of a sudden you had this guy crack some AutoZone window, and didn't loot anything. He had a fucking umbrella on, all black, couldn't see his face. What's why I say wearing mask all of a sudden became very convenient. He breaks it, he breaks open the place, and leaves. Didn't take anything, and this thing was being called a riot in the papers. Uh, you know, Washington Post, CNN, and all these guys. Before it was even an actual riot. So it, it feels very synthetic. However, it's the most side that's moving both pieces to further his prophecies. Whether it's, in, whether it's synthetic or not. Isaiah 13 and 8. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. When a woman is going through child labor, she goes to random sporadic um, pains. That she can't control, she can't predict, and this is this is what is happening to this woman right here, America, man. All right, in the form of we saw the grinding. See, so many prophecies, man. The spirit is heavy on Apostle of the heart to coin it the year of prophecy because so many prophecies are being fulfilled in the aftermath of these guys warring with each other and doing different coups and CIA operations to try to um, oust each other in terms of who should run this place. Um, the aftermath is prophecies being fulfilled, you know, because this thing escalated so seriously. And, you know, they already put in bricks and insinuating people to get violent. And meanwhile, you know what? It's, you're destroying your own community, you know, so-called. You, you Just like they did in L.A., you know, they have you burned down. Like, because you think about it, 
you know, the, the ones in power are not working at fucking Target and AutoZone. You know what I'm saying? The, the ruling elite, you know, they don't give a fuck about those places you're burning down. But the places that you're burning down are small businesses. It's places that you, Jake's, work at and, and some of you own. Right? Again, further trying to create a larger gap between rich and poor, which ultimately will happen. Because it says what? He causes all both small th- small and great rich and poor to receive a mark in their right hand and their forehead. So it's just going to be rich and poor at the end of the day, man. They're wiping out this whole middle class situation, man. You know? It says, as a woman that travaileth, they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. People are pissed off. They're no longer regarding kings and pre- uh, their kings. All right? As it says in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. And all hell is breaking loose, right? So... The synthetic uh, crisis, just like coronavirus, now the new one is this particular crisis that we're going through uh, with the civil unrest. Um, Again, just like how you had a genuine virus outbreak in terms of a new corona strain, but the media, man, is so powerful, they could turn a small thing, make it enormous. And what you do with that now is you use crisis to make opportunity. We've seen something similar, all right? Um, you know, the news is coming out that these guys knew each other. We could only speculate if that whole thing was real or not, you know? One thing it was, it was a fucked up image, I'll say that much, you know? Seeing this dude getting um, stomped out, and if he's an Israelite, he's an apple of the most size eye. You know, even if he's a wicked Israelite, whatever, he's still a Jake. So, you know, people get pissed off about that. So they take this recent protest and then, but the protest ain't enough. So you have ancient provocateurs as the apostles, the elders, brothers see through that, that stir shit up for their own means, man. It's not to amend any new rights for you, Jakes, man. Get that through your thick skulls. All right. They're using you. They're using you for a means to an end, man, to create another crisis. All right. To further different political agendas, man. They don't have you in mind. All right. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Now, who's Satan? Satan is a so-called white man. That's how come we didn't fall for no physical protest, man. Did a lesson to the spirit. Our protest is spiritual because, you know, calmly, you're not going to we're not going to take this man out of his rulership. That's not our role. All right. That's the Hawashai's job. You know, so. Jake fell for the whole okadoke, you know, they're going to do stupid shit like rob cars and which they literally stole a car off of, uh, they drove a car out and they're doing all these different things. And guess what? All of them is going to get locked up. A majority of them. All right. We're living in an era where you can't really get away with crime, man. All right. Because they got cameras on every corner and they're coming to find out that 80% of those people that were protesting in Minnesota weren't even from Minnesota. You know, they were from other places. Letting you know that what this thing is orchestrated, it's being fueled, it's being pumped up, man. But at, at the end of the day, again, this is all the Most High's doing. He's the puppeteer. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices. So, you know, we didn't get caught up in none of that BS, you know, because we was always like, man, you know, we circumspect with things. You look at everything like, you know, who stands to gain from that, who stands to gain from this, and what is the end all be all outcome of it, you know? And trust and trust and believe these devils do auto app KO. You know, again, going back to this whole regime ch- situation, man. What you do in a regime change is like you. Let me let me uh let me let me get a better picture, because it's what they do in um the Middle East. You know, like they create the ISISs and they create the um the Al Qaeda's and all these different things. They create them. And unleash them on the public to create civil unrest, and then what? Come up with a solution, a new leader. And we see in that hand, um, America, man, they doing regime changes and they doing uh, sanctions and all that, um, to try to put a new lead up in there, man. You know, it's the same tactic being used by the CIA. They rehash the same shit. Let me see. Uh, see if we get ISIS. And one thing too about. ISIS was pretty funny is um not pretty funny but you know you can see the parallels is they all covered up in mask so you don't know who's who and what's what so it's the same thing it's the same thing um they doing with this situation man everybody's wearing masks you don't know who's sincere about it who wants to sincerely see change and who doesn't who's a cop you know 
So they're doing the same shit, but on their own country, you know? Uh, Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So, look, man, we're not falling for the okadoke, all right? We're not, our, again, our protest is remaining spiritual, but again, we're observing everything, man, and warning our people to be, beware of traps like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Beware of traps like that. You're going out there, you're burning a cop car and doing all that shit, and it ain't going to change nothing, man. They're not going to get the ruling, the ruling elite out of their power seat, man, you know? You going down there burning down your own neighborhoods and burning down, you know, it's just again, it's not gonna do anything. You know? But the war the the um but again the Mosai being behind the scenes, he's fulfilling the prophecies of the the the, the wars, the rumors of wars, the uprising of the people and all this, because that's the stuff that has to approach before he returns, man. You know? So that was just a quick lesson, real you know, just quick uh weekly lesson. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakako Dash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone with you well, and salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom, brothers.